We're coming to you live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Croxham Skull, Florida. It's over 110 degrees outside. Man, is it hot. The only difference between this place and an oven is that ovens don't produce serial killers. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle the Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Huh? Huh? A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap, I have money on him biting a big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the... And the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. Second down and nine. Stuck to him like glue. Third down and nine. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and eight. Freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have 
raincoat in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down, it ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one. his way out of that. He could go all the way. And, he, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That ball was almost intercepted. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having an interception. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Blue Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Bombs away! The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. That's a six yard gain. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And the quarterback drills one in for the first. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fan. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. You need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. First down and five. Second. 
second down and seven. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You can't keep a good mutant down. See a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Third down and three. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else can Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? And it's first and ten. Not, not one, two. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And it's first and goal. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. the ball on that one.
second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Yeah, I don't know either, but scratch another player from the roster because he stepped on a mine and exploded his spine. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And this guy just exploded into flames now. I ate a piece of licorice once he got a shot like that. It was a licorice, you idiot. It was a freight cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. He's at the 10. He scores! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Whoa. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And, now gonna... and that pass is good for about five yards. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Brent. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> first down in a mile. <laughs> 
At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. That looks like the defense has to be. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Breaks wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Third down and the punter is warming up. Deflected the ball. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next. Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And the bank 
runs in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and eight. I'm running out of excuses. Have you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really... Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. not going to drop that. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's free. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a fraud in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, uh, we're going to go to a strategic show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And it's first and ten. A <laughs> oh, dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The defense lost their final line basher. Lucky for them, their offense is out there in the field now where they forfeit. Yeah, they got luck just like me, Grim. I was playing candy crops the other day and I got a cavity with herpes.
And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. And another interception. This oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. This city should apparently be named Cracker Skull because the jugulars are just about all gone. They have to forfeit. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.